hope you're doing okay because I am. My name is Atlani Prudence Wahalisolo and I welcome you to my YouTube channel, Actually Living with Prudy. If you are a returning subscriber, much love to you and that is highly appreciated. If you're not yet subscribed, please there's a red button down below. Click on that red button and click on the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a video. Today we are going to be talking about crossing over. <laughs> Not the crossing over of when you die, you know, please. Transitioning from other degrees to the actual science degree or rather to the actual science field. So I've got in, I've received a lot of questions of people asking me of how does one move from the particular degree that they have or that they are currently studying to doing actual sciences. So I'm gonna start with those who are still at university. So if you were still at university and say you're doing maybe engineering or maybe you're doing medicine or whatever that it is that you, you are currently studying and then you feel like you are not in the right field or you feel like you want to go into the actual science field, the best thing to do is to first of all research about actual sciences, research about what uh, you will be doing because obviously it will be different from what you are doing. For instance, a medical person, somebody studying medicine, their content isn't similar to those studying actual sciences. So they gonna have to do deep research about what actual sciences is all about, what they will be dis not discussing, what they will be studying or be faced with and all of that stuff. That's step one, number one. And if you completed step number one and you still want to become an actual, actually, <laughs> and you still want to become an actual, what you could do is you could, um, check with the department of the actual science at your school at your university and check what the requirements are um, i know most universities just show um, requirements for first entering first year students as in like first entering university from matric the requirements from matric so if that information is not given on the internet you can go to your you, your what's the head of department head of department of the actual science talk to them and ask them if it's possible for you to transfer from whatever degree you're doing to the actual science degree and what the requirements will be and when will you be able to transfer things like that so let's say moving on to number two now say you've received your medicine uh, degree or your engineering degree and you feel like no man i've started the wrong thing i should have done actual sciences sorry <laughs> sorry <laughs> and you feel like i should have studied actual sciences the best you could do is first of all again research do your research and then after doing your research also research about the uh, what are these things what is that uh what is that offer actual sciences exams so you have your degree it's not necessary for you to go back to university and study an actual science degree whatever degree that you have you can use that and then register yourself with a body that offers actual sciences exams and yeah start start there and then after uh getting let's say your a1 after passing your a1 um level exams and your a2 level exams you can try applying for internships so that you can be exposed more into what actual science is all about and stuff like that man so you don't have to 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 do you don't have to go back to school and study for or towards an actual science degree that's not necessary you can with your degree go to anybody register write your exams but remember it will be wise for you to familiarize yourself with the content of actual science 
and on top of that get some sort of tutor or watch youtube videos on the content that you will be writing about in natural sciences because believe me natural science board exams are not easy they are not easy at all so if you just go in there with no knowledge at all nothing trust me you will end up writing them 10 times it's not a joke it's just a highlight um yeah i think i've i've i've, I've, I've highlighted on the most important stuff then after writing your exams as I've said, you get an internship so that you can be um you can be exposed to the content <laughs> of actual sciences. Now there are some who I've seen somewhere somebody asking, I think it was on Reddit. Reddit, yeah, I think it was on Reddit. <laughs> Someone was asking or cura, 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 cura or Reddit, I'm not sure. Someone was asking if they could become an actuary without any degree. And then they and then he what he or she was answered and they said to the person that it is possible but it's not that easy because like I said, actual science exams are not up in place. They're not easy, so they advised the person to, um, what's this? They advised the person to research about actuaries that are around him in his area, say in Pretoria, then you research about actuaries that are in Pretoria, and then you book an appointment with them and just have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with that particular person and see what information they will give to you or what information you will make out out of that particular conversation and then from there go to youtube watch whatever uh, 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 tutorials that you're watching about the content of actual science believe me it's a lot there is a lot of content on on, on, on natural science exams on youtube it's a lot and also you could go to what's this app i forgot the, the app I'll, I'll, I'll put the name of the app here and you can also go to udemy yes udemy courses i mean um, platforms like udemy do offer uh, 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 tutorials on content the actual science content so you could also go to such platforms and then just familiarize yourself with the information then i think i've been repeating myself and right now i think it's clear as to what you you could do to yeah transition from whatever degree you have or whatever degree you are doing into actual senses so yeah i will link the video of the exams that you will be writing uh here no here gonna pop up here so and i'm also linking in the description box so that you can also check out the, the content from me <laughs> yeah but nonetheless that's all it's not um easy but it's not a difficult journey to get into but it's not easy to become an actuary so hard work determination passion all of that man i need it so yeah i've said it my book Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it informative and I hope that you liked it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Do share it with um, whoever you share it with because somebody might be in need of this information. So yeah, that's all for me on today's video. Until next time, stay safe and stay blessed.